electric vehicles, they are coming here to stay. They are not visiting. Just because we have Zesa problems in Zimbabwe doesn't mean that uh, that phase is going to skip us. Do you know that if you are 21 years old right now, by the time your first born reaches grade 7, there will be no more combustion engines? Um, pros and cons. Did you know that with electric cars, 62% of the energy output from the electric motors goes to the driving or the movement of that vehicle compared to combustion engines guys it's only 21 percent all that fuel that you put in that tank only 21 percent of the energy output that comes out of your vehicle is going towards moving the vehicle what are the cons well electric cars cannot travel long distances suvs Large SUVs can only do like 450 kilometers and small cars can only do 200 kilometers on a full charge. You can't even go to Bulawayo, right? Before you even come back, another pro is carbon emissions. Carbon emissions, Emma in Zimbabwe is very reluctant, which is cool for us because we are broke to pay carbon taxes. But uh, on electric vehicles, there are no carbon emissions that you have to worry about. And also you'll be using renewable energy. You're charging your vehicle, you use it, you drive it, you recharge it, you keep going on like that. What is the con to that? Well, recharging an electric vehicle takes time. A level one or level two recharge will take about eight hours or overnight just to fill up your, your vehicle. And if you're going to do fast recharge, like from zero to 80%, it takes about 30 minutes. Imagine taking 30 minutes to just recharge your, your vehicle. Fast recharge damages the, the cells, right? Every time you fast recharge, you're reducing its lifespan. Another pro to look at, well, electric vehicles have low maintenance issues, assuming that you bought it brand new. The electric motors are so smooth and they are high performance. You don't have to worry about the oil changes, the fixing the gasket. The... What is the con to that? Well, electric vehicles are expensive because they are still new. The parts are still new. The technology is still new. So they are definitely expensive to buy initially compared to combustion engine vehicles of the same brand. So they might not be friendly to your wallet. Those people that are spending a lot of money in buying garages, opening garages for combustion fuel and whatever, whatever, whatever. In 10 years, your business will be broke. So that's what I'm now. Peace.